Hello everyone, Chairman Cena here. Today I'm showing you the Fast View, so uh, Fast View Reporter. Um, in this case, I'm showing you the Sophos uh, Reporter by Fast View. They also make uh, reporters for Content Keeper, Barracuda Web Filter, and Microsoft Forefront. Um, this particular software, uh, I've uh, been running it for the past couple of days, and uh, in my lab and. Uh, I really like it. Um, I like that it is nice. Uh, it, it displays um, traffic details on my network on a uh, in a dashboard, uh, rather than me having to go through a bunch of logs that are normally text-based and stuff like that. Um, this uh, this attaches to Sophos on uh, using Syslog, and from Syslog uh, we pulled uh, pull traffic details. From the content filters so we can see how much bandwidth we've used today and what's really cool is that I can categorize certain traffic based on productivity so Salesforce is a productive traffic Facebook is not productive but it's not unacceptable um, so uh, we'll put in the accepted um, acceptable traffic and then unproductive uh, you know it goes on from there and you can change the productivity in the settings which we'll get to uh, we'll touch on a little bit in a moment here now um, the bandwidth uh, so if I there's the overview if I go to bandwidth uh, I can see who is eating up most of my traffic and what they're doing so I can see that 192 say 1.173 uh, uses a lot of traffic. So what I can do is generate a report uh, by clicking next to the IP. Um, we can generate a report uh, to see what the what this IP has used. Okay, so we can see that um, this this particular person has used a lot of traffic. Has gone to YouTube a lot, uh, been on Facebook a bit, stuff like that. Um, and these are the categories it's been on okay uh, what's been uh, you know again uh, this is pretty much uh, a user generated report and it's specific to this one user okay now um, with the reporting um, it's it's awesome too um, so you have two options an overview report um, which is like everyone everything uh, or a user report. Now, uh, I just generated a user report uh, for you, so we can see what an a overview report is. Okay, so if I run an overview report from um, the 7th to the 8th, so from yesterday to today, and just hit run report. Okay, this is the overview. Okay. Now, um, w w when you go into the settings tab, this is where you can dictate what you consider uh, productive, like uh, productive and not productive, and then you can go by um, you can go by categories here. Okay, you could set up alerts based on how much traffic. Um, you know how much unproductive browsing has been done uh, if any type of threat has been detected Okay And things like data storage um, You know where where are you gonna store uh, the data and um, And how much data you have? Okay, if you go to email, you could set up uh, daily email reports, which you can set up in the reports tab. So you set up um, you set up your email address in uh, SMTP um, server, and then if you go over to reports, like so, you can hit overview report, and then there's this little clock here. You click the clock. And then you can set up a scheduled report daily, weekly, monthly, stuff like that. <clears throat> Going back to the dash uh, to the dashboard here. Okay. You can see web protection. Uh, when you have web protection, we can see 
things that have been um, uh, you know traffic that's gone through uh, our our firewall and then uh, you can also see things that have been uh, dropped okay so uh, blocked undesirable right now there's nothing Now, if you go over to settings one more time, well, I'll just show you something here. Um, you can go to uh, directory slash uh, LDAP, and this is installed on a domain controller, so um, it automatically imports for you. And so it'll import, you know, users and stuff like that into uh, Active Directory. And so if you have um, if you have computers that users are logged into, they'll be mapped to their uh, to their uh, IP so instead of just a bunch of IP addresses you actually get users uh, you know usernames and stuff like that okay and then if you go over to sources you can add multiple UTMs <clears throat> um, and then uh, from there you'll import the, the traffic from multiple UTMs which makes this tool invaluable because of that one feature um, give me one quick sec. Excuse me. So with multiple, uh, with a view, one view of multiple UTMs, we can get more data instead of having to scour through hundreds of logs, which sucks and is very, um, very time consuming. Um, so this tool is, is, uh, a one up from the built on reports that, uh, you'll deal with on the, um, on the UTMs. So I'd like to thank Scott from FastView for providing me a uh, license to be able to show this uh, software tool to you. And um, if you have any questions or comments about uh, the FastView reporter or any one of my other videos, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me, seanie 2010 at gmail.com or visit my website, seanie.com. Thank you, everyone.